Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ruffles here, back with another episode of the Mad Pack here on the Mad Pack server. Hope you guys are having a great day. Hello there, chicken. How was your day? Nod, nod to you, good friend. You are a lovely individual keeping guard from my uh, enemies on the outside world of, of Mad Pack. So, uh, welcome back, guys, to the server. Uh, nothing ridiculous has happened since the last episode. Just a little bit of a chat. I've read all your comments and talked to everyone else. That was the full moon. We're gonna just stay away from the full moon in general. If you have not seen the last episode of the Mad Pack, make sure you uh, you go check that out, guys. It was uh, it was good fun. That's for sure. That's how we're up to eight deaths here on the server. And uh, either way, it's just let's just dip right back in. The good news from the last episode is we found this where where is it oh my god guys we found a full guard pattern we got both of them i actually kind of want to go back to the village at some point in this episode real quick and just spend a day and actually see if there's a third one i'm not gonna lie we want to be a little bit selfish and actually grab all the full guards so that we can trade it with other people on the server for things that we need these are ridiculous this makes the legendary hidden secret weapon from dinger's construct called the cutlass and i cannot wait so that is what this episode is, guys. We're going to make the super secret weapon from Tinker's Construct. It's hard. To, it's a, that's a tongue twister. And as you can see here, I've set up this uh, just cobblestone, guys. Cobblestone with a chisel. Made it into black. Um, this little area, which will be our Tinker's Construct area. So we're going to have the basin over here. Uh, we're going to have uh, areas where we can release things. We're going to have our own little tool forge and things on the wall and, and all that jazz in this beautiful little area. It took me a lot longer than I want to admit to kind of set this thing up because I was having a hard time uh, figuring out what I wanted to do. I also got rid of all my storage and I put it into three iron chests here, which I believe provide a little bit more security for our items after, uh, after what's been happening on the server. I closed this area up to uh, provide a little bit more cover with some more cobblestone and I also want to make a gravel spot for when we run into ghosts again that we can go and hide in uh, so those are the things on the docket list guys the main thing I'm gonna need to do is to get grout if you guys don't know what grout is um, it's this awful awful thing uh, right here I am grout everyone hates it it's probably the three most annoying things to grab up in Minecraft gravel sand and clay Ugh. and we need a whole bunch of it so I'm gonna have to do that Probably in the next day, off camera, um, and just grab all that stuff up. Let's just take an inventory of what we have. We don't have a lot of sand. All right, we got smooth sandstorm. That's it. Uh, but we're going to head to that village anyways. We'll grab some up there. And other than that, I mean, we don't have anything else. I think we used up all of our gravel um, in that little bit against the ghosts. We only have eight left. Uh-oh. Um, and other than that, we have zero clay. So that's going to be the big thing, guys, getting grout to make seared bricks. But uh, we're going to do that real quick. Unfortunately, I don't think there was a Tinker's Construct in that village that we were in. where We went all the way over here. That was amazing. We really traveled. Yeah, so no Tinker's Construct in this area. So um, that's unfortunate. Actually, what's this over here? That's kind of cool. I might want to check that out as well. So head to the desert area for sure. See if we can find some clay in, uh, in the water areas while not dying to piranhas and such things. And uh, do a little bit of a adventuring so uh other than that guys we'll see you in a second hopefully we get tinker's construct going make that cutlass and prepare to wreck some booty oh yeah all right guys it is the night time we have not explored it yet i was kind of just killing time on the server waiting for day to happen can't really sleep because it increases the difficulty which is already at 60.1 so r.i.p us and everything that's on the server i mean who knows could die right now just literally just drop Oops, you never know but anyways check this out so i've been doing a little bit of work and I think you guys are really, really going to like this. Um, was it looking at Bibliocraft, okay? And you guys know I love Bibliocraft. It is the hypest of skypest of things. And uh, I found this lovely little tool that I'm just so excited to put on here. So let's grab this. This is cool, right? But I think we can put something better here. Check this out, all right? It's pretty simple to make. It's just added Bibliocraft. Check it out. Red wool, stone slabs. Place this bad boy down. And then you ready? Three two one oh that i mean is there anything better in life like look at that oh wait whoa 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 when look oh my god if you stand here it's like coming out in in like a in like an explosion if you come close oh, that's so cool it like multiplies it it oh yes i don't know why i just love it so much so we're gonna actually fill in this right side with something else another sword just as epic perhaps our cutlass who knows see you in a second let's do it day is coming Okay, guys, what what do we just find here? Oh! Oh my god. Ha! 
Ha! Ha! Okay, get out! Get out! Get out! Whoa! That is a great freaking find! Holy moly! Okay, so I just went to the village and uh, didn't find anything I was looking for uh, in terms of guards or anything. But, okay, dark steel. I'll take it. Uh, if you can check in my inventory as well, you'll see that I got 44 clay from some adventuring. Um, and that, that turned out pretty good. Clay's difficult to get because, you know, there's all these piranhas and stuff. And I found it in some nice, nice good land. Hey, <laughs> we just found... The hypest of hypes. It is 545 though, and we're pretty far away from home. Uh, last time this happened, we were A-OK. -okay. We had to run away from some sort of hero brine looking creature, but uh, I think we're going to be okay this time. I thought that was, I thought that said Vicstar. <laughs> V-1-2. Very close to Vicstar. So, um, we're going to try and make this sprint home. Uh, we're pretty close. Yeah, we're pretty close. I think we can do it. Time is just kind of flying by right now. It's about to turn to nighttime. There's the tower, so I think we can make this, um, kind of. I'm not, I'm not sure. We'll, uh, we're about to find out. Home sweet home! Go, 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 go! Boo, boo, boo! Get in, get in! I just ran out of hunger. Ah, dirt blocks, dirt blocks, protect me, dirt blocks. Guard, guard, I'm home. Protect. Protect the area. Okay, we are home. Um, got a little bit of stuff. I guess I uh, got some clay blocks, which is nice. Actually going to get a decent amount of uh, uh, grout with that. Let's see uh, how much we can get. Oh, <gasps> I put the sand in the chest and the coconut. Darn it. What, what do we get, though? We got, oh, my God, we got Kihan's head. Oh, no way do we get Kihan's head. Oh, my God. That is actually amazing. What else do we get here? A conduit probe. That is, just seems really complicated. Uh, headwood, we got some more quartz. We got some dark boots, which we actually did not make. There we go, so we need just the legs now. And what else, we got some ender pearls, some ender lily seeds, um, which is interesting, and some nether wart. Oh my god, that is possibly the best thing to get. Uh, if only we had some soul sand as well, but we can definitely use that two nether wart to our advantage. Um, easily, easily. So, I'm gonna have to actually wait another day, get some more materials for the, uh, for grout, and I'll see you guys in a second. <laughs> These guys, man! I'm rebuilding my house because there was a full flipping moon. And they went over here, they just tapped me. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous beings. Want to come see my place? Oh, they're gone. <laughs> Is that where they're living in that tower? Huh. Alright, well anyways, uh, yeah, there was a full moon. I kind of logged in for a second and logged out because I was just like, nope! And, um... Yeah, I think they they barely survived. They're talking about they got they got bruised up. Like, what? Okay, bit bruised up, and they went to come say hi. Um, is that is that their place over here? I'm actually gonna come. I want to kind of go see what they're doing in there. I know that that's not their house, unless their house got completely destroyed. That they recently moved. Um, cool. Now this can't. Oh, yeah. Don't go there. They're doing it. They're they're doing it. Oh, oh, that hit me. Oh god, it's an angry iron golem. Okay, well, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Alright, you know, doing my thing again. Just minding my own business. Um <laughs> minding my own business, grabbing up some stuff, and ran into a, a Gionach with 900 health. Because that's cool. Um, I don't even think we can kill this guy. Oh, we're hurting him. Knock. Knock, knock down. There you drop. Drop me something good. Give me like glowstone. I love it forever. Geonauts. Go get some geometrics geometry. Yeah. That's what I see. He gave me it. Oh, there's two of them. Hello there, Geonauts. You only got 76 health. Your big brother is a noob. And I pushed him right in the notch. I don't know why I started rapping, but let's see what we got. Oh, an Knock back one iron sword. All right. Yes. Oh, actually, three dark steel. That's actually kind of yes. kind of nice. Adventuring down into the depths has been lovely, by the way. I've been uh, spending my my nights doing that. Found some charged searches quartz, which I don't know if that's good or not, but um, I'll take it. You know what I mean? Um, definitely, definitely not not that bad of a not. I, I think. 
I mean, I'm getting a lot of XP from it, but uh, let me look that up real quick and see if it's if it's any good. Whoa. Whoa, it looks so cool, though. Whoa. Did you guys see that? It, like, actually shoots out, like, laser bolts when it's on the ground. Just toss one out. Come on. Oh! <laughs> Can be found in worlds semi-rarely. It appears similar to normal quartz, except it sparkles. Cool, but what could we do with it? Oh, a meteorite compass. <gasps> that is actually amazing. We are going to definitely make one of those. All right, guys, just before we dip into anything else, uh, I wanted to just do something real quick. Uh, apples and oak sapling, and we get apple sapling. And we're going to plant these bad boys down. Just one here and one here. And let those things grow. Those will uh, give us a lot of apples. And uh, you can do some cool things with apples, actually. So I'm pretty pumped about that. Uh, let's block this up and prepare the Tinker's Construct. All right, guys. Check it out. We got the smell tree pretty much made. I think it looks lovely. Uh, also got some charged surge quartz fixtures here. They shoot lightning every once in a while. So awesome. And the place is really coming together. But the one thing we need to finish up the Tinker's here is uh, some lava. So I got some two buckets. And we're going to get the help of a little friend. I'm outside, to... Rob. Okay. Hey, dude. What's um, up? Hey. Can what? I have an apple? Dude, I like go apples. for it. Like, seriously, right. knock your- I, I mean, I think they're- ooh, I think they're- none of them are oh, ready. Even, oh, those oh, are. That's a fair. juicy one. Oh, yeah, my. Brilliant. Brilliant. So, Vic said that uh, there is some very easily accessible um, lava in one of his caves. So, we're going to go check it out. Yeah, I want to go see your house anyways. Probably only like a 30% chance we'll die. So, you know, oh, that's it's, pretty it's good. quite good. It's, yeah, for this anyway. <laughs> so uh, It's just lava. You know, not, yeah. a, not a big deal. The big lava lobbers, yeah, they spawn in there, and they're just, you know, you know when just a mob just appears to be just too big for its own good? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that. Dude, that's a yeah. lobber, man. I mean... Oh, yeah, we have a bit of a clay arm leakage. Just ignore those guys. Me and Pete will sort that out soon. Yeah, but... Oh, God. Uh-oh. Ooh, are yeah, those guys harder? Uh, not really. There's just kind of a lot of them spawn, and yeah. Uh, it's fine. Just, just a clay golden leakage. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, no big deal. No big deal. So... Um, ooh. I have no idea what these are. Are you able to explain these? They're just things of fireworks. And I accidentally shift mine them here, and it's just... I don't really understand why. I mean, why it's free fireworks, I guess. Yeah, but I kind of feel like leaving them there. I don't know. I yeah. feel like a thief. But yeah. <laughs> you um, should set them up so it's like when you when like a, a mob is coming to attack your base. Um, yeah, true. It's just like fire. fireworks go off. So, okay, so uh, this is, Hold on. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta I mean, set this up, dude. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, get a this little is, waypoint. So yeah. spawn is like here. And Vic, um, uh, what's your what's your what's your ship name with Brandon? Um, it's, Vic, uh, it's Pick. It's Pick. Oh, Pick. That's cute. Pick's house. Think. Yeah. Uh, um. So this is spawn here. Me and Pete spawned in on uh, day zero, full moon. Everything's going down. So we literally just ran into this hill and burrowed our way in, <laughs> and that's beautiful. how things began. Oh, dude. Um, it's, oh, so look. Yeah, look down. at this, dude. You can't. Um, that was, um, a recent incident with a, uh, Kihan. That's just, Aww, yeah. Oh, your boy Kihan. Anyway, so we carried on digging down, oh, and then we dude. fell through the roof of this little place. And this is, this is home now. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff this way, and, yeah. Oh! <laughs> yeah, sorry, <there's... laughs> All right, anyway, follow me. I'll take you down to where There's a good notch, and it screamed at me. Oh, oh. I, oh, that's a suffignacious dude. Chipper kebab. Oh, it's two cheap kebabers. Oh, Should I come help yeah. you? I mean, these guys. Um, uh, I think we'll be fine. Oh. oh. Are, we, are we okay from behind and everything? We're okay? Yeah, yeah, I believe so. Okay, that, he was uh, aggroed on me. All right, so yeah. I just need... Yeah, so there's a pool in here. Probably this is the safer one. So just get in, get out, you know what I mean? Yeah. Right on. Oh, I'll God. grab an extra bucket and... Thanks, dude. Hold on, wow, you. so you got... <gasps> Oh, this is some redstone ore. Do you mind if I grab just one redstone ore? Sure. I mean, we have redstone and it's like... Oh, do you need the actual ore? Or... Uh, oh, just... No, just the, the actual... I mean, we have just... some redstone around and about. Yeah, I just need... I just oh, need look, at, look down there. There's a Jengu and a Shade. Oh, God. Are those guys terrifying? Have you fought them yet, or...? Um, I've not, I don't think so, actually. And I don't really want to. So, let's go. All right, guys. We're back at the house. Welcome Where's to my front house, door? dude. Uh, it's... I mean, I don't really have one right now. They kind of just block up this area when uh, when night approaches. But uh, oh, chicken, okay. here's no, yeah, here's my uh, this is my guardian. He kind of watches over the place at night and on iron. So uh, yeah, if you can go ahead and put the lava bucket into the smeltery, that would be awesome. Fill this Very thing cool. up just a little bit. 
Should be up to four thousand, or is it? Wait, do you up? like put? Do you right click them on Just it? Right, no, right click the tank here on the left. Ah. Yeah. Boop. Nice. Oh, full tank. All right. Well, it's been a little bit of time, but we have gotten pretty much everything situated for the next little bit here. Thanks to Vic, we were able to get some lava without dying. Very awesome to see that they have that crazy setup. Honestly, just tremendous. Um, I've done a little bit of work uh, with Tinkers with uh, Vic in the call, just chatting with him about this sort of thing and uh, letting him know that he's got to get on this. We have made our aluminum brass, which is copper mixed with um, aluminum. We're going to need more aluminum. As you can tell, we even have three extra copper. When you put something in the smelter, you actually get Get double this would be 24 copper um, and the way it works is for every one copper when you put three aluminum you get molten aluminum brass uh, 18 ingots six nuggets uh, that's exactly how much we have available to use and what we're going to do is we're going to make our mold castings right now so we're just going to release this into the tabletop um, we're going to go ahead and just put this in a chest somewhere oh, i hate when i have your stone stuff left over we don't need this anymore that's the thing so let's just kind of toss this um Oh, that's actually a really bad spot for that uh, <laughs> this thing over here. Let's toss this. Um, see, pretty much what we're making is not even this. Uh, worse. This is literally just for our cats. We really should just toss them out after, uh, as they are entirely, completely useless. Um, and we're making these, which is our casts. And our casts is what we're going to be using to filling up kind of, as you can tell, the hole in the cast with the actual material that we want to uh, that we want to make. So it's pretty cool stuff. Um, we're going to make a pickaxe first because we've been going through way too much iron with an iron pickaxe. So we can set up uh, something with mossy, um, get some moss on it, some moss balls, and actually have an infinite working pickaxe, which would be amazing. Get an obsidian on it, uh, maybe something else, maybe a paper casting or something. Um, but there it is. There is enough for a pickaxe uh, and let's set up the cutlass um, I pretty much have everything ready we got the stool, stone tool rod the only thing we need to make is the not knife blade not this where is it a ah, sword blade pattern I figured I would show you how I did this anyways so pretty much you go into a part builder you take your pattern and you see material cost one so I only need one stone Throw that in there and I get my material. So then you put the pattern back. It's pretty much useless. We take our stone sword here. We place it on the table. We make sure we have enough. 15 ingots. We got plenty. Let's go ahead and make our castings. This thing has been flying around my house, man. And it is big. Oh my god, it's huge. That is kind of terrifying. Um, all right, we're going to get throw this into here. And I don't even know what I just said. I'm just excited for the cutlass, guys. Uh, even though we're probably not going to make one today. It's a little resource intensive, um, being that this is three uh, ingots to actually make just that one part. But uh, at least we'll have it ready to go. Uh, and let's just get that stone tool, which we already have the casting for. So let's at least make a pickaxe or at least kind of figure out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap my head around what I want, what materials I want to use for this thing. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and get that done. So I have some good news and some bad news. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Uh, so I have done a ton of research on Tinker's Construct and specifically the Mad Pack situation. Um, obviously, we do not have access to a lot of materials, which makes us a lot more difficult. Um, unfortunately, the one thing I wanted to try to do was make Osmium, but Osmium and Dark Steel don't smelt which is possibly the saddest thing ever because two osmium would have actually been enough for us to make an osmium pickaxe and I think mine obsidian. Uh, dark steel, steel in general, is actually one of the best attack damage um, things to use. Uh, but steel is, oh boy, steel is tough. We're going to need a philosopher's stone, uh, if not something else. So it's going to be pretty crazy to get some steel. And we'll get there, we'll get there. But to get the majority of the Tinker's Construct stuff like Cobalt and Ardite and Manilium, uh, which is obviously both of those, to get actually bring, bring this out here, um, we actually, we're gonna need, um, we're gonna need, unfortunately, well, either we could make some Alumite stuff, which is pretty easy, but we need to get Obsidian. Um, so we, that's our main goal is to get some Obsidian, because then it's just Aluminum Iron, which I have a ton of, and then just some Obsidian. But to get Manelium, uh, Cobalt, and Ardite, we're just we're going to have to get to the Nether, and that's just not going to happen anytime soon. So Alumite, I guess, is kind of like on the to-do list. But to do that, we're going to have to get to Obsidian. So what can mine Obsidian? Um, well, we need Diamond. Uh, I don't think Osmium can actually mine Obsidian. Now, I have heard rumors that Slime actually mines Obsidian, albeit very slowly. 
but it does. But we don't have a slime head, pickaxe head. So maybe in the next episode, we'll go fight the slime boss king and see what sort of slime crystals we can get. And then we can go from there. But either way, let's actually just create our first Tinker's um, construct stuff. So we got some iron. We got a slime binding for increased durability. And uh, we'll get this thing. So it's nice and slimy. Uh, it's quite nice. And uh, I think we're going to stick with this. Now, it is daytime. The first thing I want to go do is... Um, nope, I need mossy cobblestone. Uh, we're going to go ahead and break through here and head over to this tower and actually go ahead and grab up some of its lootations. Unless that one's closer, but this has so much more. Uh, I really should build a bridge across here. Just saying. So let's go ahead and do that. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab that mossy cobblestone. Mossy cobblestone is a pain to make. I think it's like water... Um, water and cobblestone around, I think. It's just a pain. Uh, no one's really interested in making mossy cobblestone. So we're just going to go ahead and steal it. I mean, why not, right? And uh, we are kind of out here. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. Hey, might as well go ahead and use our brand new pickaxe. It will regenerate it. Don't worry. Don't worry. And make sure not to vein mine stone like we've been doing. I've been losing so much iron that way. It's insane and totally my fault. Totally 100% my fault, but I gotta watch out for that. Okay, so uh, we got our cobblestone. If I could turn vein mining off, by the way, I would. I know I've seen a lot of comments like, yo, use vein mining, bro. And I'm just like, I know how to do it. I just don't like it. It doesn't give me a chance to see if there's an angry mob. It doesn't give me a chance to actually uh, play around with the durability of the items I'm using. It's just, it's too much. It's too much. And especially, it should be disabled with stone and everything. Okay, so that's that king slime from over there. So we should be okay. And... I think these guys have all been destroyed by Vic and Brandon. So we're going to go ahead and just grab up as much mossy cobblestone as we possibly can. Um, oh, that's what we didn't want to do. Well, thankfully, it didn't destroy our pickaxe. Uh, yo, the durability is just insane on this thing. See you later, pickaxe uh, tower. I kind of feel bad now because it's really ugly. Dude, I did not mean to do that. But that's a really great test. Yo, the slime binding is insane. That reinforced. Holy moly. Impressive. Okay, so, um, well, rip tower, unfortunately. Um, you will be missed, my friend. The overlooking beacon of hope. We should maybe rebuild it one day, a.k.a. never. And uh, let's just go ahead and well, we have mossy stone. We might as well use it. But let's go ahead and get this. God, I feel terrible. Holy moly. Um, on our pickaxe. So we're going to go ahead. Put a tinker's table and... Oh, no, wrong one. Boom and boom. We got our moss on here. And I think we can uh, auto repair two, auto repair three, and that's all we have. Um, we might be able to add more modifiers later. later. Let's just check to make sure that I can. And oops, wrong one. Oh, we are totally done on modifiers, uh, but that's okay. I don't really want haste on this pickaxe. I just want it to survive very long, uh, so it's not a problem. As you can tell, it's already regenerating extremely quickly. Uh, this thing is going to survive us uh, pretty much until um, we die, um, which is probably going to happen sooner rather than later. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to do some more adventuring down to the depths and try and get myself some diamond um, I guess so let's do that. I'm just gonna prepare myself for that adventure and I'll see you guys in the depths of the mines Ugh. Come on come on come on come on two and a half parts two and a half parts. Oh you have got to be kidding me. Oh, man. Those things just spawn and two of them. All right. No big deal. I killed one of them, guys. Um, I'm just going to go back down and find my stuff. It's just <sighs> vein mining, man. I got to stop doing it. Oh, osmium. Yes. Oh, a pretty good amount of it, too. And it's not fake osmium this time. <laughs> yes. I've been so unlucky with finding this stuff. Okay. That's actually really good. I actually want to just check real quick if osmium can be used to mine obsidian. If so, we're doing pretty good. All right, guys. I've died a couple times in mining down here to these... What is that? Oh, that's a freaking phantom. What in the world? No. No, 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 no. Oh! Uh... Phantom! Ah! 
You're super creepy! I'm stuck in a block! He's kind of terrifying! Jeez! That just happened. Wasn't really the plan. Um, off to go kill this guy down here. That's the plan. Can that? Can you stop hurting? Me? What's hurting me? Come on, don't kill me. Yes, defeated, you noob. Ha 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 ha! Oh, chain boots! <gasps> Oh my god. Chain flipping boots. No way. Uh-uh. Okay. That's it guys. I'm I'm done. We just got chain boots. I've honestly never been this happy in my life. If this works, I don't know what I, I don't know what to say. I literally don't know what to say. We just got chain boots. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm actually tripping right now. Yes! Oh god, we can smelt it! <gasps> is that is that smelting? Is that smelting? Oh my god, it's smelting. Oh my god, it's smelting. Guys, steel. Steel. Can be gotten. Can be made from smelting chainmail. That's it. That's going to be the episode, guys. We have ourselves steel, I believe, if that is what Chainmail actually does. I will take those deaths 100%. I will take those 10 deaths. We will continue doing some more work. We also got a whole bunch of Osmium. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Unfortunately, we cannot mine or smelt the Osmium. Osmium. So I have to make it into other stuff, but chain boots. I'm tripping. I'm actually tripping. If you guys enjoyed that like button down below, that's this episode of Mad Pack. A lot of progress done, but I'm just going to have to call it quits there. I can no longer fight. I just don't have it in me. God. Wow, wow. I, I did die a couple times there, but we made it through. We made it through. Another episode of Mad Pack. My heart is going. We got chain mail flipping boots. I don't know what to say. I'm so pumped. See you guys later. Take care and goodbye.